Action baby, I can't get it. <laughs> They're all gonna go running away, isn't it? They all go running away, and even more so, I'm gonna be pulling that stun. I can't get no satisfaction, baby. Anyways, good morning, Double R Radio, 8.27 in the morning. Friday morning, T-G-I-F. I don't know sign language. T-G-I-F. I don't know sign language. Um, um, you know, probably got some gang members going, Hey, man, Robert, doing some gang signs. Hey, man, vamos a la madre. No, no, those aren't gang signs. Those are just regular signs. You know, just doing like that. Anyways, good morning. Viva Fiesta. There we go. We're going to be talking a little bit more about Fiesta just here in a little bit. About Fiesta here in San Antonio. Ten days of nonstop puro porazo. And that's the truth, man. I've been celebrating Fiesta since I was in diapers. That's true. I'm not lying to you, man. I didn't have a baby bottle. I had a beer bottle. Titi bottle. Put another titi bottle on there. Me, me, me. There we go. True. Anyways, <laughs> now I'm going out there looking at the TT bottles. Big TT bottles. But anyways, it is Friday morning. Wendell GSX waking up with me now. It's live on Facebook right now. Let me see here. Good morning. Shout out. Going out to Angel Anna Corpus Christi in the Casa. Good morning, Angel. How's the familia doing? Everything okay? There we go. Good morning. I'm going out to Elsa Valdez who says, Robert, I've got five alligator girls who are going to take care of you. They're going to protect you. They're going to make sure you don't get hurt whatsoever. If anybody's going to hurt you, it's going to be them, not the gators. Eh? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Huh, Elsa? Anyways, Elsa posted yesterday on Facebook that she got a $700 winning scratch lottery ticket. Well, El says, uh, you are overdue for that donation to Robert Reeves Radio, and uh, nothing better than collecting it personally at the casino. There you go. <laughs> I should have never said anything, Robert. Anyways, okay. Um, I tell you what, it is time for question of the day, but before we go there, uh, let me see here. Nope, I don't want to go there. Good morning. Shout out, going out to my partner, Jim Tom, joining me from North Dakota and the Casa. There we go. Uh, there we go. There's my partner, Jim. Hey, Jim, where you been at, dude? Where you been at, dude? Uh, okay. Uh, let me see here. Where do I want to go? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go this way first. Uh, check this out. Say, Jim, we're talking about North Dakota. Let's talk about South Dakota. Check this out. A South Dakota man was fined for not having his pet snake on a leash in public. Mm. How do you leash a snake like a dog? How do you leash a snake? Come on, Mr. Snake, come on over here. How does that work? How? I've never thought about it, really, man. I, I, I've never thought about leashing my snake. That's all I'm going to say. But, no, but really, how do you leash a snake? How does this work, man? What's your problem up there in South Dakota? <laughs> first things first. Who wants to have a pet snake? Right? Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, would you like a pet snake? <laughs> she goes, yes, I would, Robert. Yes, I would. Actually, I like several of them, Robert. <laughs> Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez going, I'd like several of them, Robert. Many several snakes, Robert. Okay. <laughs> but really, man, that's outrageous to get fined. For not having your pet snake on a leash. I can't even imagine myself having my pet snake on a leash. Here we go, boy. Come on. Here we go. Come on over here. Come on. And let's go over there. Come on. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen because he was born free. Born free as free as the wind blows. And none of that good stuff. Anyways. <laughs> what? What? Elsa, but this is... For that, we're going to leash a gator. No, Elsa, Elsa, I'm not joking, Elsa. You keep those alligators away from me. I want nothing to do with those alligators. <laughs> Cynthia Gonzalez, I mean, goes, hell no, not to your kind, Robert. Hey, I mean, sit down. Anyways, I tell you what, so, like I said, I've never heard of that in my, you know, one of the weirdest things I had ever seen when I first moved into my complex where I live at here, and I had never, ever seen it before, and this is true. I saw a lady walking her cat with a leash. I had that blew me away. And, <laughs> and the cat was like, Are you serious? Looking at the lady. 
The lady had a, her cat on a leash walking it. I had never, ever seen something like this. Ever. I mean, it was so terrible. I went and got a 12 pack. I, said, I, I got a drink. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen nothing like that. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But really, man, I had never seen a person with a cat on the leash walking them. That's crazy. It really, really is. Let me see here. Let's see what's going on. How much time do I got? Do I got time? Oh, I got plenty of time. I tell you what, this damn. Check this out. Crazy, crazy story. A California man was caught on video attacking a 7 Eleven clerk. Anyways, this damn. The attack happened because the man was not allowed to buy M&M's. <laughs> I want my M&M's! Man, sorry, mother! <laughs> Anyways, uh, the, the clerk scans the man, the clerk scans the man's small bag of almond M&M's, okay? Place it on the side, and then from there, the man took out his credit card, scanned his credit card to purchase the M&M's. The credit card was denied, and the man said, Hey, man, what the hell, man? What's wrong with you, man? Hey! And the guy goes, try it again. So he goes, no, no. Don't ever deny me. Don't ever make me look bad. So the man who was buying the M&M's took a swing at the clerk. He wanted his M&M's. You know, sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Good morning, shout out going to Francisco. Magalianes, did I say that right, Francisco? Magalianes, there we go. Uh, <laughs> he said, Francisco, I taught the wife cat how to sit. Francisco, I can do better than that. I taught the wife how to sit. All right, all right. Siéntate, siéntate. And don't you get up until I tell you. Yo mando. Yeah, Francisco, pretty impressive, huh, Francisco? Pretty impressive. Until she threw the iron at my head. And, oh, man. Oh, I still get headaches, man. <laughs> but that Francisco put a bell, right? Anyways, but how crazy is that, right? So, the man was denied his credit card. That happened to me about three weeks ago, man. I went to Jim's coffee shop, and I ran my card, and they said, no, sir, it's not working. And I was in a very good mood. And I said, you know what? I don't want to get upset. I said, here, use my other card. They ran it. It worked. But you know what? Then I tried that same card that was denied at Jim's. Um, I forgot where I went to. I bought some Walmart stuff or whatever. And it worked with no problem. And I said, there you go. So I can understand frustration in a sense. But dude, you don't got to go kick the 7-Eleven clerk's ass. Don't leave. That guy's got nothing to do with it. It's the machine and you. It's not the clerk. I understand that he represents 7-Eleven. You know, no lie. I used to date a girl from 7-Eleven. I'm not lying to you. Her middle name was Big Gulp. Woo-hoo-hoo! Her name was Big Gulp Bertha. <laughs> anyway. Uh, sorry, man. Oh, there's my... Pampa! Pampa! What do you mean, Big Gulp Bertha, Pampa? Mika, get back to class, Mika! My grandbaby, man, she's listening to first grade, man. She's... Get... Pampa, what does that mean, Pampa? You don't worry about it, baby Mia! Get back to your finger painting! Anyways, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's get to my question of the... <laughs> I'm not lying about Big Old Bertha either. Anyways, <laughs> I wonder what happened to her. Man, <laughs> man, what did I do wrong, Big Old Bertha? You know, um, no lie. This is true. Um, I used to love on Friday afternoons, Friday evenings, Primo! Good morning, going up to mi Primo, Rogelio Rivas. Oye, Primo, fiesta, no, Primo? Viva fiesta, Primo. Um... Back in the day, I don't do it no more because there's not one around me, but back in the day, on Fridays, I remember we would always go to 7-Eleven, go buy two or three Big Gulps, then we'd go buy Fred's Fish. There's a Fred, you know, there's, I don't know about where you guys live at, but here in San Antonio, we got this thing called Fred's Fish, where you can buy fish. And they're pretty reasonable, pretty cheap, but también along with that, you get what you pay for. But anyways, uh, Fred's Fish. Oye, hey, Primo, when's the last time you went to Fred's Fish, Primo? Right, Primo? Fred's Fish? So I'm talking about Fred's Fish, but anyways, uh, at Fred's Fish, you can get three pieces of fish, an order of fries, two breads, a slice of lemon, for like four bucks. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. But what I get a kick out of at Fred's Fish, you can buy a family order, I think it's like 15 pieces of fish. But check this out, here's the kicker. You can buy 15 pieces of fish at Fred's Fish, and you get two slices of bread, one lemon, 
one packet of tartar sauce and one french fry, a little small fry. Hey, man, there's 15 pieces of fish here. Two breads is not going to cut it. So I would tell the guy, how much for a loaf of bread? $4.99. 4 dollars for a loaf of bread? Hey, man, for $5 more, I can get the hooker. Over there, man, she'll give me her real bread. Man, $4.99 for a loaf of bread? I don't think so. Now, piss off, French fish. <laughs> and that's true, man. French fish, man. Man. <laughs> you know, one time I ate a piece of French fish. I did. It was so fresh. It still had the hook in it. Yeah, I'm not lying either. Anyways, I, I tell you what. Let me get to my question of the day. It is 8.38 in the morning. By the way, I have no coffee. I have no coffee, man. I ran out of coffee. I'm not lying to you, man. No tengo cafecito. Um, and I'm in deep trouble. So I may have to put on a long song and take off running to 7-Eleven. Go get me some cafecito. I need my coffee. and I, I, I have no coffee. If anybody's in the Nacogdoches 410 area, could you bring me some coffee? And while you're at it, you know, pan dulce, empanada, you know, go ahead, you know, little hint. Eh, eh. Anyways, let me get to my question of the day. Um, you know, it seems as of late, maybe, um, maybe times have changed, but I remember back in the mid 70s to late 70s, early 80s, when wine coolers, wine coolers were, that was it, man. When wine coolers came in, every all the girls were drinking wine coolers. Remember the California, what were they called them? California wine coolers, whatever you call them. But wine coolers hit the market, and y'all women have never been the same ever since. Women have never been the same ever since wine coolers. But nowadays, times have changed. You know, the women that I know, they don't want wine coolers. They want a shot. They want a beer. They want a thaw boy. Really, man? Women don't. Hey, honey, would you like a wine cooler? <laughs> I don't drink that crap. Give me a shot, Robert. Give me a shot of Crown. Go get me a 16-ounce Bud Light, Robert. So, honey, you don't want a wine cooler? <laughs> That's for teenagers. And, okay, I'm sorry, honey. I apologize. But it's true. I mean, a lot of women nowadays that I know don't care for wine coolers no more. But it's not pretty more. And these women nowadays, man, <laughs> women are carrying chains and knives in their pockets and pistolas and everything, man. It's not like it used to be. Man. <laughs> Anyways, what'd you say? Hey, Cynthia Gonzalez, I mean, what did you say? <laughs> Anyways, I tell you what, let me get to my question of the day. Simple, straight to the point. What is your favorite flavored wine cooler? And I think I said, man, to me, wine coolers are too sweet. They do nothing for me. I hate sweet drinks. I really do. It just... Sweet stuff just does not work for me, man. I, I need a cold beer. You know, I need a good shot of Maker's Mark. You know, I'll go at sea. I'll go pesao. Something good. That sweet stuff just does not cut it for me. Even a, a margarita, maybe one, two at the top. And that's it, man. I need something more manly, something more macho. Head on over to Robert Reavers and Underrated Group page right now and answer me. Pregunta, por favor. Wine coolers. What is your favorite flavored wine cooler. Let's get me going. Let's do something by Little Joey La Familia. This song is going to live forever and ever, and that's the truth. The National Tejano Song of Texas, Las Nubes. Good morning.